So you've ovulated and you've entered your two week wait. Let's talk about how to optimize your chances of success this cycle. Hey, I'm Whitney, fertility dietitian and coach, and I help busy women get out of the Google spiral and get pregnant. As a board certified food and fertility nerd, I've helped hundreds of women figure out their fertility so they can grow the family of their dreams. And in today's video, I'm busting some myths about the two week wait and sharing the top three tips that I recommend you prioritize in your next cycle. As always, this video is meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be a replacement for medical advice. If you're new to the fertility space, the two week wait or TWW as you're going to see it online sometimes is the space of time between when you ovulate and when you get your either positive pregnancy test or you start your period. In general, this period of time is about two weeks long and it is incredibly nerve wracking. Many women turn to the internet to see what foods or lifestyle habits they can implement to increase their chances of fertilization and implantation during this time. But I have some bad news. Some of the most common foods and habits you're gonna see on the internet, like eating pineapple core, guzzling down pomegranate juice, tossing back a bunch of beet juice or beets in general, these things, while not harmful, are probably not going to increase your chances of success. Scientifically speaking, the groundwork for conception is laid months before you actually ovulate. In fact, it starts about 90 days ahead of time when the follicle that eventually becomes the egg you ovulate starts to develop. And we have to talk about egg development because egg quality is the pinnacle of everything. Egg quality is crucial not only for fertilization, but it's also important for something called progesterone production. I love progesterone. I talk about it all the time. I made a whole video about it here. Progesterone is crucial to help build a fluffy uterine lining for implantation but it also sustains the pregnancy. Progesterone is your progestation hormone. We have to have a lot of it in order to get pregnant and stay pregnant. And unfortunately, we cannot change the quality of your eggs after that egg has already been released. So this means that while these foods will not hurt by including in the two week wait, they're not really gonna make that much of an impact. Now for the good news. The good news is that if you really wanna increase your chances of conception success, you absolutely can. We just need to start a little bit earlier. Instead of just zoning in on that two week wait period, I recommend including nutrient dense foods and cutting back on harmful toxins throughout your cycle. Kind of like giving your follicles a nutrient bath if you want to think about it like that. If you want to know my specific fertility foods, there are things that I recommend. Definitely check out my earlier video on fertility diets. And then if you want to know my specific egg boosting habits and foods, check out this video I did earlier on egg quality. Have you tried any off the wall foods or habits in the two week wait? If you have, comment below and let's talk about it. Now there are three things that I highly recommend prioritizing in your two-week wait, and that is rest, joy, and pleasure. If you've been trying to conceive for a hot minute, you know that the constant two-week wait cycles can be mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausting. This is not the time that you want to do a 180 on your diet and lifestyle. In fact, this is the time where you want to take a pause, get some rest, and tune into what your body really needs. This is a great time to go on a date with your partner or plan a cozy movie night at home, go drink a cup of coffee and read a book at a coffee shop on a Saturday morning, or tackle a project that you're really excited to do at home. If you need a nap, this is the time to take a nap. The two week wait is really a time to tune in and prioritize your own needs. I hope this video cleared up some of the myths about the two week wait so you can take some of the pressure off yourself. And if you want to dig in a little bit further with your own personalized quick start fertility plan, I invite you to check out the find your fertile path quiz below in the link. That's all we have for our video today. If you are a fellow food and fertility nerd, comment below and hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one.